Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Yesterday I showed you what the basement looks like, but today I'm going to show you what our rooftop looks like. The way that our elevators work, you get this little key tab. And each key tab is key for your floor. So when you get in the elevator, you don't push the button of the floor that you want to go to. You just scan your tab and it automatically highlights the floor. So you can't take the elevator uh, to any floor you'd like, like the 34 story. This is a 34 story building. However, the stairwells are open. So I had to walk up 17 flights of stairs today to get up here. Hope you appreciate it. And uh, I wanted to show you what the rooftop looks like. It's, it's uh, pretty amazing. Today, the air quality is pretty poor. I'll show you on the phone. Uh, it says moderately polluted. Uh, children and adults and people with heart disease or respiratory disease should reduce prolonged or high intensity outdoor exercise. So uh, when you see the red and the purple, uh, I think it's 180 today, which is moderately bad. Uh, you, you try to limit how much uh, you go outside. Most people get little air filters for the inside of their house, so you can free filtered, cleaner air inside, but you try not to go outside too much. Uh, and it gets really bad. Your eyes are water and burning a little bit. You'll notice that your, your sinus is a little swollen up. But today it's pretty bad. And when you go up to the rooftop, you can see for a really long way. Well, you can kind of see for a long way. But you can judge how bad the air quality is by how far you can see. Let me hoist you up and show you. So off in the distance here, you can kind of see it's foggy. It's really foggy. And you can barely even make out about a mile away the next neighborhood. So that's not fog. That's, that's definitely air pollution. Uh, to describe a little bit more about why that is, uh, Chengdu is kind of like a valley, kind of like this here. So all of the cold air sits in the bottom of the valley. And there is wind, but it comes up over the mountains and then passes over the valley. Now, while that's happening, there's this big kind of slug of air in the bottom where all the pollution kind of charges up, like uh, it sits down here in the valley. And the only way that that, uh, that goes away is when you have a rainstorm or kind of a windy condition, low air pressure, or even in the summer where it heats up the valley, which makes kind of convection to make the air go up uh, to kind of mix the air pollution with fresh air or wash it out all together when we have a storm. Unfortunately, in the wintertime, uh, the weather is pretty moderate. So we don't have any uh, windstorms. We don't have any, any rain that comes in. So all the air pollution kind of just gets worse and worse and worse in the valley here. We have about, uh, I think, 16 million people in Chengdu. A lot of them don't have cars, but a lot of them do. Um, there's some industry. So anyway, the air pollution gets kind of bad here. When it gets bad, you'll notice like your eyes start to water a little bit, get irritated, your sinuses might swell up. So it's not like the worst thing in the world, but it's definitely not healthy for you. So up here, uh, like I said, we can take this stairwell way over here. Uh, I had to walk up 17 flights of stairs. I'm not bitter about that at all. It's actually good exercise for me. But um, uh, you see some unique things, like these spinny things here. Each one of our kitchens has a vent that you can vent all the smoke from the cooking that comes out up here. Uh, this is all the uh, fire suppression stuff. So we put this food up for a cat. And over here is all the bathroom vents. So these these white guys over here. This is for the bathroom. Uh, the plumbing, you kind of vent out so it doesn't have any big off. But uh, let me take you to another part of the rooftop. You know, one of the first videos I made, because this has been a learning process, I didn't know anything about making videos before I got this camera, was up here on the rooftop. So I'll put a link to that. But again, uh, that's Nanhu Park, right down there. And you see each one of the apartments here has a balcony. Uh, the ones over there, uh, obviously, are a little more expensive. They have two floors to each apartment, so they have one large balcony. But normally, they'll be like half that size, and then they'll stagger them for each floor, one over another. But yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty cool up here. It's pretty quiet. Uh, not many people come up here, I guess, because I've never seen anybody else up here. But I don't think I've been up here for a couple of years. Anyway, here's the other side. Hope nobody's getting dizzy. 
We'll take a moment to ask you to subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to grow it a little bit. I'm not doing this to be popular so much. So it's really easy to get into. So I'm not doing it to be popular. I'm, not, I'm, I'm trying my hardest not to look at the statistics. I'm just going to put out one video a day about what China's like and see, uh, see who likes to watch it. I just want this to be a daily blog that if you want to listen to what I have to say about China because when I describe it, my, my life just sounds more fantastic than it actually is. Well, you can just give me a like or uh, tell me you hated it or, you know, everybody says comment below. I will read the comments and I will respond to them, I promise. And if you like it, like it. Uh, if you want to see more, hit the subscribe button. Um, it helps make my channel look better and then I can share more of my experience here in China uh, with the world. I saw some people from Hong Kong, uh, Singapore, India, um, back home. I got a lot of my friends that, uh, and family that like to see how I'm doing here and so they watch it too. Hey mom, hi. And uh, yeah, so I know most of this is going to be reasonably boring. Uh, if you think it's boring, a little cheat hack is to speed it up. I know I can talk slowly sometimes, which I just slow my speech down so they can understand it a bit better. Hopefully, the uh, captions that come on will like that a lot. So if you're watching it as, as it's translated into captions, uh, it'll pick up on it and it'll be a lot more accurate. But anyway, I want to say thanks for watching the channel, uh, sticking with me so far. I want to say uh, I really appreciate you know, the, the people that have responded, uh, either on YouTube or, or personally, that they like it. Um, if you have some VR headgear, I post one video that's lightly edited to reframe it to kind of show you what's on around us, and one 360 video. Now, if you don't know what this is, my camera actually has two cameras on it, and it's uh, two fisheye lenses, and it does something called stitching, where It'll bring the edges of both of the photos together all the way around so that wherever my camera is, you can look like you are in the position of the camera. Now, if you're on your phone, you put your finger on the screen and you can move it around or you can like move your phone around a look. That usually doesn't work as well. Or if you have a VR headset, you watch YouTube on the VR headset and you can literally like look around very freely. Uh, and, and, and get a fully immersive uh, experience of wherever my camera is here in China. And that's why I try to bring it to a couple of different places that are a little more active or a little cooler, like up here on, on the rooftop. But go check out the 360 video uh, because it's something new. And you might catch something that I, I, don't, I don't frame in the light edits. So somebody walking by, I try to catch birds. I try, I try to like... Do some light editing to make it a little more exciting, but uh, check it out. Check out the 360 video. Uh, I put links at the end of, uh, of each video to try to um, make it easier for you to find more of them. Uh, but uh, again, whoever's watching, thank you. Uh, obviously, this is my hobby and I'm going to keep doing it, but the more support I get, the more I feel like the time I invested is, is really, really worth it. So, with that said, I want to uh, say I think you're awesome. I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next video.